Psyonix, we're always exploring new ways to provide our players with the very best experience, and a focus for us recently has been competitive content. Our next update, coming this spring, includes tournaments, an all-new feature that allows our players to create and run their own tournaments in-game. We ran a short beta of the feature for PC players last month, so some of you may have already gotten a peek. Now we want to give everyone a closer look at the feature by running our own small tournament inside the studio. Our main goal when designing tournaments was to make it as easy as possible for anybody to organize and participate in a tournament from within the game. We streamlined the process to keep you out of menus and actively competing. To give a preview of the feature, we've set up an official Psyonix 2v2 tournament. We have eight department teams setting up behind us now, so let's take a closer look at each of those teams. Tournaments can be created with the same wide selection of settings that are available when creating matches in-game. This includes all game modes, mutators, and arenas. Each tournament will have its own bracket size, series length, and competitive rank requirements. Now that our tournament is created, other players can discover it through the in-game browser. Once a player is in the party with their team, they can register and secure their spot. Once registered, the in-game integration will notify players about updates to their tournament, and players are matched to servers as soon as the match is ready. While waiting on a match, players can view the full tournament bracket. And with live updates, you can also follow the overall progress and even see the match history of rival teams. For example, we are now down to the semifinals with our remaining four teams. And those are the basics of how to use the tournament's feature. And a big congrats to all the teams that competed in today's tournament. This update isn't just about tournaments either. We've got some really cool quality of life updates coming too, like item stacking and more ways to search and filter your inventory. We're also adding information about your connection to our servers. You'll now see notifications if you're experiencing packet loss or other common network problems to help you better diagnose issues. We're also turning on in-game music so you can listen to your favorite songs from the soundtrack while training or even playing online. And last but not least, we're rolling out a new chat ban feature, and you'll get notifications anytime a player you reported gets banned so you know the system's working. These are just some of the features we're working on for the next update, and we hope you enjoy them. As you can see, the next update will have a lot for players to try out. We hope this video gave you a closer look at the new feature, and we look forward to all the tournaments created when the update goes live. Yeah, yeah, and like taco boost will give you like a hundred extra boost. Like, uh, <laughs> what are you guys doing? Go make games. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna make Rocket League into that.